What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Dybala poster that I've just made a few uh, weeks ago. Um, a lot of requests for this video so hopefully you guys will enjoy this and learn from it. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple tutorial, there's not a lot of things to do, it's just layering up textures and then adding the images in and then obviously a camera or filter which will make it all look good in the end. Um, yeah, you guys really like the bail video. There's 25 likes already, so that, that's great. Thank you so much for hitting the like button. I really do appreciate it. And all the following and support that's been going on on the Instagram. Uh, link is in the description for that to follow. You'll get all the updates of what's going on and what posts are coming next. And you'll get input on which video you want to come next. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all that. Um, and all the explosions and stuff I added in the last videos. Uh, yeah, just trying to learn some new edits techniques for you guys so hopefully the videos are a bit more enjoyable so uh yeah thank you for listening guys i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get straight into it hey guys so welcome back now the first thing you're going to need to do is make your background so what i've done is just already made it so if you just want to go to uh, image and then canvas size i'll show you what mine is quickly uh, so it's 1080 by 1350 this is standard instagram's aspect ratio so that's why i've used it so you guys can post it on the instagram afterwards if you would like so that's that done so now we're going to need to add some textures in so there will be a link in the description for a texture pack uh, full of all the assets that you need for this design so i'm going to go over to that now so this is what it's going to be it's just going to have this on same as the other ones if you've downloaded them and we're just going to go through and get the textures we need so what we need for the first bit is paper one one, pay, uh, texture two and three so if you select all those and you can just drag them across into the design so what we're going to do is get our first texture first and position it where we see fit and then we're going to reduce the opacity down to 32 percent so once we've done that uh, you can see it looks a bit faint in the background but it, it's it's enough texture there to be working with. So the next thing we're gonna do is get texture number two. And then again, we need to position this within the where you see fit basically. So I'm gonna try center it up a little bit and maybe minimalize the size of it a little bit if my computer decides to load. There we go, maybe like so. And then position it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is change the blending mode to exclusion. So if you go to blending options and go down to the bottom to exclusion, and then it adds a nice little gritty texture over the top. So what I'm gonna do with this is turn the opacity down to 73%. So if you just reduce this down, 72 is fine around that area and then we're going to use texture free to add some extra texture so what we need to do now is just position this exactly where we want it so somewhere like that is nice and then we're just going to change this down to pin light again um, using the blending options so something like that as you can see you've got nice little black texture on the bottom and then there's a nice centerpiece where we can put the imagery so the next thing you're going to do is need to get your type tool now i've got a color here which is going to be what we're going to use for the title heading so the hex code for this is ec 7 E87 and then you're just going to basically click that in and then you've got your color and then what we're going to do is use this poppins font and then we're going to change it to black 17 point for now probably a little bit big um it might be right actually but then we're just going to type it out all in capitals like so and then we're just going to position it up to towards the right of the design something like that that looks good and then what we're going to do is just click command j to duplicate this and then we're going to reduce the fill to zero percent and then what we're going to do is double click to get our layer styles up and then we're going to go to blending options no we're going to go to stroke so we've got a stroke and now we're just going to change this to the same color as uh, the type obviously and you can increase the size of this if you'd like and just click ok so i've added a stroke now so obviously you can't see it at the moment because it's behind. So what I'm going to do now is basically increase this so that it's somewhere like that. That looks good. Now obviously it's going off the screen and you can't see it as well. But you've obviously got the main heading in front so you don't really need to do anything. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to this maybe. Um, a slight drop shadow to the main heading and that should be good. So. We've got a heading, we've got our background done. Now we're going to get some rectangles and put them down the side here. So if you go back to your texture pack, which is going to be this here, and then you can go to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this thing called rectangles. Now what you're going to do is see three rectangles in here. So what you need to do is just drag the overall group and just drop it in. And as you can see, we've got our nice little textures here. So what you need to do is select your rectangles group and then just position it where you see fit so somewhere about that now i'm gonna have it overlaying on the d of the dybala because that's how the design looks in the in the previous design i made so once you've done that you just need to uh, uh bring this down below the heading or you can leave it above if you want to completely block it out so i'm going to leave it above and then you need to go get another texture called texture number four so this is going to be clipping mask to these 
shapes. Uh, we're just going to put it over the top of the rectangles and then we're just going to clip it to them. So now you can't see the shapes, obviously. So you need to change this to pin light again. So if you scroll down in your blending options, change it to pin light. Now, if I zoom in, you can obviously see that we got some nice texture over the top of it and that it's all starting to look a bit more like the poster design I made before. Right, so now what we're going to do is get two more textures and we're going to put these over the top. So we're going to get texture five and texture six. So if we drag and drop those and just position them uh, where we want. So you obviously want to make sure they cover the whole design like so, something like that. And then we're just going to change this one using blending options again to something like maybe color dodge, um, something like that. But we're going to make sure that you move this below the, uh, the type otherwise it just won't look right um, and then what we're going to do is get the textures number six turn it on again position it in the position you want and then you're just going to click screen that looks good and you can reduce the opacity of this down a little bit if you would like uh, just so it's not too harsh on the design but then again it's making a really nice background now and again with texture five you can reduce the opacity of this a little bit if you'd like uh, but yeah that's where we're at now so the next thing we're going to do is add some images in all the images have been prepared for you in this texture pack so i'm just going to turn them on now and then you just need to open the folder up and then grab them. So first I'm gonna get this one, the third one down, and I'm gonna position this where it was in the poster design. Something like that, looks good. Uh, so I've, I've cut this out previously, so I've, I've done it all for you to save the time. So his arm's sticking out, but obviously you've got the fans and the crowd behind him, so that's really nice. And then what we're gonna do is get two more uh so we're gonna get this one and we're gonna just layer mask it here put it below the arm put it somewhere like that that looks good and we'll get the other two now so we've got him gonna be running here so about there and then we're gonna have him sliding in at the bottom of the design so you'll be able to see this now there we go simple so it's just like the design we made before but now all we need to do is add some shadowing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a layer below the guy kneeling first. So this is going to be a shadow layer. And now we're just going to get a brush and it's going to be flat like it is here. Uh, you need to do this, you just literally just um, play with this thing here. So once you've got it flat, you're going to get your black color and we're going to zoom in and we're just going to basically make, make our own shadows. So the flow is going to be 100%. Um, don't need to worry about the flow and we're just gonna basically paint in our own shadows and it looks as if he's basically sitting on the design pretty simple if you ask me so once you got that done you can change this to multiply and this is the same gonna abide for like the other ones as well so for this football we're just gonna make a nice little shadow along the bottom and I'm gonna clipping mask a layer to this as well because as you can see there's a lot of grass on the top on the on the um, bottom of that football because it's been cut out like that but just clip mask it and black it out a bit and again change this to multiply now these two pictures up here you don't need to do it for because they're not actually standing on the design but if you would uh, like to you can uh, add a drop shadow behind them so if you just uh, double click on this layer to get your layer styles up and then go drop shadow you can obviously make a nice little shadow if you would like or you don't have to use one at all um, completely up to you having said that now all we need to do is add one more texture and we can add some high passes to these so if you duplicate this image filter other high pass so this is going to be this photo image and this is basically bringing out all the highlights and shadows in the design and then just change that to overlay it just looks a bit more crisp again with this image here you can do it with you can do it with all of them if you would like um because it just it just makes them look a little bit better sorry i didn't mean to do that on the main image make sure you duplicate them first so you need to duplicate them then go filter high pass otherwise you'll lose your design so as you can see it just basically um it intensifies the whole image so that being said um just going to duplicate this one filter high pass so if I do all of these, they all start to stand out a bit more. So where's the knee sliding one? We'll do this one as well. And then we're pretty much done, guys. Just high pass on that one then overlay. So as you can see, they all look a bit more crisp now and they stand out a bit more and everything looks a bit more defined. So now we've got our post design, got all the shadowing done. Now all we need to do is basically add in uh, one more texture. So if we go back to our texture pack, close the images up, go back to textures and then get paper number two. We're just going to drop this over the top like so um and yeah that's pretty much it guys so we've got all that done now we need to do is just group it all together and then go command command shift control e um and then yeah 
camera or filter that's about it so i'm just going to go through this real quickly so i'm going to increase the pinks and some blue you can make the exposure you can do all this yourself if you want guys you don't have to copy me for this um i'm just gonna do this real quickly just to show you what it would look like once you've completed all of this stuff that i've just shown you so you can reduce the vibrance if you want and then increase the saturation it's it's really personal preference so uh yeah, you can really make a nice image using this. Um, and then we just make sure you use the sharpening though, because sharpening is quite a, a key part, um, a key part of this design. And you can use noise reduction if you want, you don't really need to. And then you can obviously play around with the reds and the pinks and stuff like so. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, not too much technical stuff going on here, just basically layering up textures and stuff to um, make sure it looks good i guess so yeah that's about it guys um maybe just increase the vibrance a little bit like so and there we go if i uh, show you the difference now side by side you can obviously see that we had a nice poster and then the camera will filter just makes it pop all that much more so if i click ok on that and there we go uh, i'm just gonna pop some explosions into the line now so hopefully you guys are impressed of it I think it looks really cool. It probably looks better than it did the first time, actually. Now I'm looking at it again. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have learned something from this design. If you have, uh, leave a like and a comment and let me know what you thought of it. Um, if there's anything else you want me to do in the future, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. I always reply to the comments. Uh, and yeah, thank you for all the support, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.